What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today uh, is October 2nd. I totally forgot to do it on October 1st. I didn't realize what day it was, but uh, in typical fashion, we're going to talk about uh, September acquisitions and then all October arrivals. So I initially thought that September would not be that good of a month. And to my surprising, I got tons of amazing statues. I was like, holy crap, I got some serious grails in the collection. Uh, and the way I even remember what I got is I look back at my old video right here of the, you know, September arrivals. And then I look at all the statues above that. So as you can see, first we got Drift. Very happy with that. I think it fits the collection perfectly. Then we got the Rotunda T-Rex, which you see right there. That thing is an absolute grail. It is as good as I thought it would be. Uh, then we got Red Sonia, which is over there. Extremely happy with her. Uh, then we got Infinity Studios Batman. I was not expecting to get that. And it freaking blew my mind. The thing's amazing. One of my best busts. And then we got this bad boy right there. And that thing is just out of this world amazing. I sold off some statues I didn't think I would sell, like my DBZ busts and whatnot uh, made a few display changes and we got aquaman one third which was not a statue pre-order but i'm real happy i got that in got the mosasaurus wasn't really expecting that and i thought that was amazing granted it had a few breaks and that is basically it. But, you know, we did get some major grails uh, in the collection for sure. You know, especially, you know, that, the Alien Bust, Rotunda, Red Sonia, and uh, Batman. Now, which one is my favorite? Honestly, that is extremely, extremely tough. Because each of them on their own right is a grail. And they're all freaking amazing. I mean, this one's the most expensive and the best paint job. Red Sonia is just so freaking cool. Rotunda's huge and just absolutely the best dinosaur statue ever made. And Batman's absolutely wild. I honestly can't choose. They're all four of my favorite. So I really can't choose. Uh, but I'm very excited for October. We got some more serious grails coming into the collection. Uh, so I'm very excited. So... Uh, yeah, a few, uh, we are getting a statue actually today, the day this video airs. Alexa, turn on video game statue room lights. Uh, so I was expecting this one. It's, uh, I have noticed the ports are starting to, you know, clear up a little bit faster now. It's not taking as long. Uh, but, uh, KD, uh, Goku, Namek Goku arrives today, the day I air this video. I'm extremely excited for this. I have not had a KD statue in the collection since Boo. So, you know, I've passed regretfully on a few of them. Uh, you know, like Trunks, his Vegeta, Gohan, Bardock. I'm still considering Bardock, to be honest. If any of you own Bardock, give me your thoughts below. But I absolutely could not pass on his Goku Namek because I've always wanted a good... One four scale Namek Goku because it's what started the whole Super Saiyan. I love Namek Goku's look, and I think Katie did a really good job. And depending how much I like this Goku will honestly determine if I buy more KD statues. I did just pay for uh, shipping on Piccolo, and I know Frieza is also getting ready to be shipped very soon. Katie is super quick when it comes to production, so you know, depending how much I like this Goku. Uh, I may consider his Goku Kamehameha. I may hunt down Gohan and Trunks. Uh, I still don't think I need his Vegeta since I got Tsume and it's and I got that one as well. So just too many at that point. But I wouldn't mind getting his Trunks. Granted, it's so tall, it's really a top shelf piece. But I could definitely consider his Gohan. Although I will pass on Gohan because I know he's making a new one. That's potentially a diorama against Cell doing the one arm Kamehameha. And if that occurs, you bet your butt I'm buying that one. I'll make space for that. So, but I would probably just buy Bardock, to be honest, and maybe the Goku. Kamehameha is what I'm thinking. Because, uh, you know, I did pre-order Tsume uh, Frieza, one of my pre-orders of the month, which I really want to put right here, which means I think I'm going to make this DBZ and move this somewhere else, find space somewhere else. 
you know, I can move him and probably next to Samus, move Bruce Lee where Alita's at once she's moved, and uh, move the ninjas somewhere, might have to sell something else. But I think I could do like Bardock, Goku Kamehameha, Prime 1 Vegeta, and, uh, you know, something else there. Uh, but, yeah, so Goku arrives. Piccolo, I paid for shipping, but it's probably going to be a good two months before I get that. Balder has shipped, although it's going to be probably one to two, uh, probably two months before I get it. Uh, so we'll probably see that in November or December, but he shipped. Uh, so very much looking forward to that. I might get Virgil. He shipped uh, over a month ago, so if he does come in October, it'll probably be more towards the end of the month, I'm thinking, but it's very possible I get Virgil as well as Nero. Nero is set to ship in October from Sideshow. They have box info, so I'm pretty confident Nero will be shipping, and it'll be just absolutely awesome to complete my Devil May Cry 5 line. I got the poster set up. I'm a huge, huge fan of the game. Beat it twice, uh, so absolutely love that game. Cannot uh, wait to complete the line. I am not going to get V. Uh, v is just, you know, a different version of Virgil, and I don't think he's necessary at all. I just want the three main uh, demon slayers, and that is it. And trying to think what else. I believe that's it for this room. Now, we're done with Transformer Room. And as you can see, I've moved Kong vs. Skullcrawler because I sold my Khaleesi bus. So this is where I'll eventually put the Dilophosaurus. I don't really want a big piece here because I have the light switch there. I want this all Jurassic Park. So uh, this is where we'll put the Dilophosaurus when that ships, uh, you know, sometime next year. Big Chap is on the same container as Balder. So I don't think we'll get it in this month. More than likely end of November or early December is when we'll get Big Chap Deluxe. Wolf Predator Bust, uh, that's been, that is set to ship apparently, uh, we've seen some in hands, uh, it does look good, it's not amazing, but depending how much I like it will determine if I A, keep it, B, get it repainted, or C, I'm just happy with it, but I think it'll probably arrive during this month, so Wolf Predator Bust by Cool Props. Uh, I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering PCS Leatherface, I'll do a video on that, and that will be going there. That's where we threw Kong versus Skullcrawler for now because Khaleesi Bust is gone and sold. I got my Fell Beast replacement. I uh, still got to figure out spot for that. Prime 1 Sauron is set to ship this month, although it will be two months till it arrives. So that's probably going to be a December acquisition. Uh, we saw some in-hand picks. It looks absolutely amazing. Beastly statue and just absolutely top-notch quality. So I sold my Sideshow one local uh, to a buyer for $8.50. You know, and the box is very big. It's a very delicate statue, so I actually do prefer that one local. Uh, you know, not surprised it didn't arrive, you know, arrive to me without damage. But Prime on Sauron will look absolutely awesome, and it will also determine if I go all in on Prime 1. Because if I do, more than likely, I would sell just about everything there and do all Prime 1. Or if I get Prime 1 Sauron and it's not too much better than these ones, then I'll probably just keep these. Because I don't want to break up the line unless I'm selling the whole thing. I got 14 matching bases and everything. They all fit perfectly. So for me to do the Prime 1 line, we got to see how good Sauron is. Some in-hands of Legolas and Adagon and see if it's justified for 3x the price of these. But my most anticipated uh, arrival is next week, <clears throat> even potentially tomorrow, to be honest, uh, which is today uh, for this video. But Prime 1 Wonder Woman on horse. So, this is a piece I've always, always wanted since the day I remember seeing it at a con event pictures on Facebook. I was like, holy shiz. Saw it next to the Wonder Woman half scale, which I also liked. And also next to the training suit costume, which is another piece I do really like and would love to own as well. But at that point, I'm getting too excessive on Wonder Woman. I don't like owning too many of one character, especially in one third. And I don't plan to buy another Wonder Woman one-third. I'm just getting the bust and that's it. The queen bust. But, you know, I sold my Wonder Woman half scale. She did get shipped off today, uh, the day I'm filming this video. So I moved Aquaman over there. These three are still on payment plan. Uh, so I anticipate Aquaman will be gone before those two. 
and so he'll probably be gone in the next month or two and then these two probably in three months from now because it's a longer payment plan for them uh but wonder woman on horse will go here depending how heavy she is if i don't feel comfortable putting on the magic case she's 50 pounds 60 pounds i'm comfortable if she weighs like 90 or 100 then i'm not uh, I hope she's not too heavy. If any of you own her, how heavy is she? Put in the comments below. But really excited at her. There is a possibility I could get Shazam. We're nearly one year since he was actually released from Prime 1. But my retailer still does not have any idea when he's shipping, uh, which I think is absolute bullcrap. Uh, how could you... That's just pure unorganized and the fact you can't even tell me where it's at. I don't think he's honestly ever going to get it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if not, then I'll just pass on Shazam and do something else. Because Shazam is already going for 2000 on eBay and I'm not paying two grand for it. You know, I did ask to cancel it back when Prime 1 had a winter sale and I could have got it uh, 100 bucks off with like free shipping. But my retailer guaranteed the product and said absolutely not. So we'll see if Shazam ever actually comes in. So he told me he was getting a container in the next uh, week or two. So hopefully... My God, get me Shazam. It should not take a year for a uh, freaking retailer to import a statue. Uh, that is just unacceptable in my book. And so, yeah. Uh, but hopefully we get Shazam. My God, freaking bring Shazam into the collection. And uh, we are going to be getting some Queen Studio products uh, in, well, at least one, uh, potentially two. Uh, but Queen Thanos is coming into the collection. So I have a few ideas on how I can display this. For right now, I'm going to put it right there. And I'm also considering if I want to put that one down low or just keep it there and just do Queen Thanos there with the Infinity Gauntlet as well. And then move him over there and maybe do Scarlet Witch next to Thanos. Uh, there's a few possibilities, but one thing is uh, for sure, and I'll make a separate video, is we're going to be expanding on Civil War. And I'll make a separate video on that. I got to move some things around, Photoshop some things. Uh, but Queen Thanos is coming, and no, I'm not selling any of my other Thanoses. Thanos is my favorite villain of all time. I freaking love him. I freaking love the statues of him. And uh, based off pictures, it seems like Queen might be the best one. It seems like it might have the best head sculpt, the best paint job and detail. So I will be the judge of that. Once I get Queen Thanos, I will do a comparison, all three of them in a row next to the bust and I will make the decision on which one is the best Thanos so we'll see uh he should be arriving in the next few weeks uh and I'm getting the deluxe version but very excited to add Queen Thanos uh so the other Queen product I'll keep a secret for now but I don't know if I'll get it this month or not trying to think if there's anything else uh Infinity Studios Superman could potentially ship. It is set for October to November with Sideshow. I know production finished. Infinity Studios, uh, I'm sure it's on a boat right now going to Sideshow. So I don't know if I'll be getting it in this month. I think it's probably more in November, December, if you ask me. But who knows? But I really don't think it'll arrive this month. <clears throat> Uh, so most likely in November or December, but I'm very, very freaking excited for that one. It is definitely one of my more anticipated pieces. I think it's just going to be a knockout of the park and turn out absolutely amazing. So very, very excited for that. You know, the next Infinity Studio bus that will ship for me is probably going to be the Harley Quinn. For Joker, I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to be getting Joker, to be honest, just because I'm so freaking low on space. And I don't want to do it right here. I've decided I want this to just be Marvel only and keep my Dark Knight stuff over there. One thing I have thought if I don't get Shazam or if I don't put Shazam there is I could do like Catwoman right there, Bane, Batman, Joker one third, Joker bust. You know, because I think Joker bust base is about as big as that. And if that's true, I could definitely fit Joker with the Joker one third on one garage shelf. And so I'm thinking that is how I have to do it. So, yeah, that is uh, kind of the plan right now. But let me just think if there's anything else arriving. Uh, I believe that's it. Uh, but you guys know me. I'm always, uh, 
Now, if I find a good deal or a statue I've, you know, just secretly always wanted but never bought, then all of a sudden I find a good deal or I find the means and the whatever to, you know, buy it just like Wonder Woman, then I will get it. So, uh, we'll see how this month turns out, but I think it will be a good one. But Wonder Woman Horse is definitely my most uh, exciting piece I'm getting, and thank goodness it's only days away. Potentially even tomorrow, because it left customs today, so, from Los Angeles, and I'm only two states away. So, likely I could get it tomorrow, fingers crossed, if not Monday or Tuesday. But, uh, leave a comment below what are you guys uh, looking forward to in your collection if you're getting any statues what's your most anticipated piece that's arriving for you and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video uh, if you're buying any statues please use the links below it does help the channel so I can buy more statues for you guys because I love bringing videos to you guys and content you know doing statue comparisons and videos and whatnot so trust me it really does help so please use the links below and uh Help me buy more statues so I could deliver more videos for you guys. Uh, but we'll be doing Katie Namek Goku tomorrow and uh, most likely Wonder Woman on Horse the following day. Although she will probably be, I don't know, we'll see. She might be a two-part video. <laughs> Let's wait and see on that one. But hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a happy October Halloween month.